Hi, I'm Laura from Delphi, and today we are going to be testing the crankshaft position sensor on this Kia Rio. It's also called a crank sensor for short, and its job is to measure the speed and position of the crankshaft, and essentially the engine. There are two main types of sensors used, an inductive sensor and a Hall effect sensor. Normally, the inductive sensor has two wires, whereas the Hall effect sensor has three. But be careful, sometimes two pin inductive sensors have a third wire for shielding. That can be tricky because it can be confused for the three pin Hall effect sensor. Before we get testing, we need to find out what type of sensor we have. And the quickest way to know this is to log into your technical data platform. Today, we have the Delphi VTI platform. So we select electronics, engine management, we select the bottom option, and then we are going to go all the way down to crankshaft position sensor. And as you can see here, this is the Hall Effect MRE type. That's the one with the three wires. Now, for this sensor, there are two main tests. The first test is going to make sure that there is power and ground going into the sensor and make sure they are okay. And in order to test this, we are going to use the multimeter. The second test is going to make sure that the sensor is generating a good wave signal. And to test that, we are going to use the oscilloscope. All right, let's get testing. So first we want to locate the sensor and then turn on the ignition. Then you want to unplug the sensor and check for a five volt feed with the multimeter. From the wiring diagram, we can see that that's pin number one, the green pin. Now there is a feed, but if there isn't a feed, you're going to want to investigate further to find out why it's missing. Now, plug the sensor back in, and whilst back probing that same green wire, you're going to want to check for five volts again. If you get five volts whilst it's unplugged, but then you get less when it's plugged in, it suggests that there is an unwanted resistance in the supply. While it's plugged in, back probe and check the earth wire. That one there, that's the pin number two black wire. We're looking for less than half a volt, but the lower the better, ideally less than 0.2. Perfect, test one is complete. Time to grab the oscilloscope. This sensor has a five volt supply. So a perfect signal on the final wire, that's pin number one, the white wire, should show a nice square wave signal, switching between zero volts and five volts and back again. Back probe the signal wire, that's pin number one, the white wire on this car. Set the scope range to five volts and the time scale to 20 milliseconds. Now, crank the engine over. Even if it doesn't work, you'll still be able to capture the signal. On screen, we can see a perfect signal. And moving those voltage rulers into place, we can see a perfect signal switching between five volts and zero volts. Now, if this was only dropping to one volt, it would suggest a fault in the earth wiring. If there was no signal coming at all, but everything else checked out okay, it suggests that there's a fault in the sensor, and in that case, it would need to be replaced. There are a few other failure types and sensor designs. We cover them more in depth in our online academy. If you want to see more videos, be sure to follow us on social media or visit the Masters of Motion online hub. And for more expert-led courses, why not check out the Delphi Academy? Thanks for watching.